welcome to my channel as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable if you just start with one guys just one of these on the list you are already on the right path I'm not looking for perfection here so today's video is really really it's bittersweet um, you know the bitter part and um, as you guys may know by now my mom passed away on July 24th of this year 2021 and it was heartbreaking for me but I remember how much she has inspired me to be more sustainable by sewing stuff and by reusing stuff so it's a legacy that she has left behind and it's something that I want to continue in her memory the sweet part is that I would be memorializing these pieces so that while she is gone she would never ever be forgotten in so many ways i love my mom she had inspired my style looking at her she wasn't somebody that was out there as you would say um in terms of being fashionable she was more low-key she loves some colors yellow <laughs> for example was one green well she loved to see me in green so i i love green but my mom especially loves to see me in green so today i'll be sharing with you and rewind a little to some of the looks that she inspired as well as some of the items that she gave to me that I've styled over the years and I, I want to share them briefly with you so the first piece is this gorgeous top this is a newbie in my wardrobe and I got this recently when I was home looking after her um, prior to her passing oh guys it's this top look at this so what I did is to turn one of my tricks if I want to have an exaggerated shoulder is often to turn the pads the shoulder pads at the front so it really really strengthens the shoulder it's a trick for anyone with weak or droopy if you slump your shoulders unconsciously it's one of the, the tricks to make you look correct poise and one girl had met me on the street and she had said that I looked regal yes so it's one of the ways to look poised and regal so that's what I did today I normally it looks like this so you could see the difference between both but I love it when it's like this so that's what I did I'll wear it both ways but I love that little trick so anyway this is the look guys look at the color detail oh look at this guys man I love her pieces absolutely stunning guys another set of items I want to share with you were the skirts that she gave to me this is not a skirt it's a slip underneath but I love the details on it and it's cotton my mom loved white she knew how to take care of white so she loved white she loved neutrals and so she had a lot of white items in her wardrobe 
the next piece you guys may have remembered this skirt and my apologies because they're a bit wrinkly right now but I'll show you them ironed this piece makes me want to twirl like a little girl so I love the excitement it gives me um, it's this piece and I love the detail on this piece And right there there's a sister to it but not quite because this has a different style that is so trending right now it's this gorgeous piece with the button details I love button details I love how voluminous this piece is as well What you would note is that my mom loves an airline skirt. It's the style. It's and I totally love that. I've realized over the years that no matter what, the airline skirt is the most flattering on me because like my mom, I have a similar shape. Her waist was um narrow well until she got older <laughs> but yeah for most of her life I knew her as having a slim waist and wide hips so that's how she was shaped so because of that an airline skirt looks absolutely flattering on her figure so I think I've mentioned this in the past this is another piece that I got from under her bed and this was hers and you could see the style detail, guys. Ugh, it's just gorgeous. downside to this piece is that it's made from very thick polyester called crimpling but the style oh look at this pleated detail right here guys show you another skirt that I have just like that this piece has extra pleating details and the fit guys Whenever I buy items, I often gravitate to style details like these. It's just that for a long time, they were not around, but they are around now. So that's the skirts for top. You guys have already seen a previous top and some other tops that she has given to me or have left behind. That I'll have to go through to see but my mom loved a great undergarment oh my god look at this again and she seems she seems to have a particular love for this detail know if it that was the style around that period of time I believe so but 
oh my god and she loves to add a dash of lace ah oh, this is beautiful and this piece fits so into my wardrobe because as with fast fashion many items are not lined guys i hate an online stuff that doesn't give you any privacy this piece is missing the band but i'm sure that i would find a band somewhere to wear with it um i've added this to it but i i love when it's free and loose like this these pieces really really came in handy and i really so appreciate it i appreciate my mom's style even more so now oh my god look at this other piece this is another piece with similar details except that it's a v-neck and guys it has a bit of discoloration but that's nothing that oxyclean cannot fix right <laughs> and it has the same lace detail pieces are a hundred percent cotton guys except the nylon straps these and the lace detail but they are mainly cotton and I am so happy that I'll be reusing these for the rest of my life essentially I have been pairing them with pieces just like this because these pieces often come online and I love the way it looks so I really really love that oh oh love my mom's style as well as well you guys know this piece already oh the sleeve details guys this piece oh this is such a gorgeous piece and again this is a piece that is wrinkled today it was ironed but it got squashed between my wardrobe which is a bit overcrowded at the moment so it's wrinkled all over again but I'll fix that the other piece and this is the piece I wore recently when I had to step out to go run an errand. Uh. So you guys may remember this piece. This is a piece I got from my mom and it was supposed to be one of our hospital gowns, but I wear it as a dress because I just love the color. I love the details. I think it's absolutely fabulous and I would get more wear if I use it as a sleeper dress.
guys have seen this piece in a past video. Ah! My sleeper dresses video. Guys, check that out. My mom, yeah. I can't thank her enough. And there is one more piece. That I love it. It's very similar material like this piece, guys. Ah, this is green. Ah! Told you my mom loved green. I'll get that piece and I'll show you. Guys, seriously, seriously, look at this. It's not only the color, it's polka dot. As you could see, this has been around for so long. It has this coloration right there. And someone ripped the lining back in of the color, but it is still wearable. It was such a relief to realize it's still wearable. Guys, I'm in love with this piece. Look at the color detail. Look, look at the lapel. Look at this, guys. And I'll show you another detail that I absolutely love because they don't, they don't do these things anymore. Oh my goodness, guys. Absolutely stunning piece that I would be keeping forever because pieces in these materials they take over 450 years to even begin to disintegrate or biodegrade because, yeah, it's really, really bad polyester. <laughs> but, yeah, so this, this is the detail underneath the sleeve that was the backing of the collar as well, which I don't know how it got ripped off. But look at this. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look. Look at the button details on this. anything with a button that has the same fabric covering it because it makes it more expensive looking and I love that ah, look at the detail look at the detail around the waist anything that emphasizes the waist and it goes all the way to the back, guys. Look at these fake pocket flaps. I don't know if they're fake pocket flaps, but they look like it. Ah! This is another orgasmic piece, guys. <sighs> yeah yeah stunning oh just love it so i had almost forgotten this piece so i snuck it in here but i cannot forget this because the detail the bow detail it's so evident in all of the pieces i gravitate to when it comes to bow details, guys, anything with strings and bows, I absolutely love. So, really love this piece from my mom as well. So guys, as you could see, my mom has really, really 
played a significant role in how I dress in my style so I really really love that and this video is definitely my tribute to her and for her inspiration I hope you guys have enjoyed it I hope you have learned something and if not about me at least about fabric <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video love you guys remember to always love yourself accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and absolutely drop dead gorgeous love you guys and i'll see you in the next one take care